In the name of God the Almighty, peace to you. Today I will speak about seeking forgiveness from God and being thankful to Him. What does that mean? Of course, like everything that exists, we have two sides of every information, every decision, and every intention. We have the word side, what we say, and we have the action side, what we do. So, when one of us seeking uh, forgiveness for a mistake he did or something or a sin or whatever or when he he wants to express his gratitude and being thankful to his creator how this uh, these good intentions uh, could be translated in our daily life so we know that many people or uh, people who believe in God and, uh, every, and every, uh, before every meal and after every meal they do a prayer to thank God for his gifts and for the bread and everything that they have on their table. These are um, must be do things for those who understand God and it's not the thank we give in these words and these prayers they are not just merely a prayers uh, that are taken to God personally. They are also meant to be addressed to every uh, portion or every part or every component of the meal we have. For example, if we are eating chicken or meat or if we are eating rice or if whatever the content or the components of our plate all these thanks are received by these foods we are eating so we always eat what is blessed so this is the 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 blessing of the word of thanks that we say when we eat or when we do any action that gives us pleasure regarding the uh, action side of being thankful to god what does that mean it means when we, I am having my meal, yes, I enjoy it, and yes, I am thankful by words, but also, especially in our days, when we, we are eating and we know that there are plenty of people who have no food on their table, and that uh, it's, it's a time that no very few people are doing any you know uh, physical activity outside so it's time that we uh, take in uh, I mean we consume just the basics of what we need not to excess that so instead of I'm eating two plates for example I eat one this also a way of being thankful this time by action not only by words because we know we are living in a time that the earth resources have been eaten out and uh, unlawfully by many and so it's time even if we have always food on our table we have to be um, uh, you know respectful and we have to be uh, thankful uh, so instead of I eat two plates I share my second plate with th those who are in need and they are not capable of having a meal on their table this is a way to be thankful not just by word but, but also by actions and also as I said we are being, living in a time also where animals have been, been abused for their meat, for everything they produce. So it's time also to, to, you know, reduce the amount of meat we use in our meals. Uh, so instead of eating uh, uh, meat once every day or once every week, let us try it once every two weeks or once per month and so forth. Because this will reduce also the amount of abuse 
these animals were placed on farms and uh, under the control of the big corporation of food, food chain, etc. So this is how to be thankful to God, not just, this is an example of course, just about uh, food. How to be thankful not only by words before we start our meal or after the end of it. We have also to be thankful by our actions, by our uh, understanding uh, that we have a blessing that many others do not have. So it's time to understand things and being thankful by sharing what we have. If we know uh, people who are close to us uh, geographically, for example, who are in need, or to uh, there are plenty of bank foods, etc. So we can share. These, this is, of course, an example. And there are also plenty of examples how to be thankful, uh, not just by words, but also by actions. For example, I have a successful business and uh, I'm thankful my every day and every night about it to my maker and my prayers and my communication with him. The thank should not only be by words, I should also be sharing some of an amount of my money, for example, a percentage where I give to charities, I give to, uh, for example, uh, scientific endeavors, something like that. So let us be thankful, not just by words, but also by actions. That's how to be 100% thankful to your creator and to all the gifts and the blessings you have in your life. This is how to be, of course, uh, as I said, uh, there are people who are not capable of sharing things because they, are, they have limited resources. They can be just thankful by words and by hearts. Uh, this is the way to be thankful, as I said, not just by words, but also by actions. So, at the same time, how to seek forgiveness from God for our mistakes. Of course, we can pray at night to seek forgiveness and I know many you know some beliefs say you go to a church for example and go and confess what you did and this is not enough and I don't think this is have any you know uh, credibility you have uh, you know the people who you did wrong to you go you apologize to them straightforward if you for example uh, uh, took something unlawfully from them like money or land or uh, you stole something from them in a way or another if you don't have it anymore and you you apologize and say for example you you will pay it back for example as soon as you have enough money to do it or gradually for example a portion of it every month or something so always when we seek forgiveness, we try not only just to seek forgiveness uh, to our, by praying, but also to uh, seek forgiveness from the persons or people we, who are hurt or harmed by our actions. So if we killed someone, for example, even if you, know, uh, you took your prison sentence or something, or you killed someone uh, accidentally by your car, or you, uh, I don't know, you're, you, you own a business, for example, where some kind of food uh, poisoned many people. You, there are plenty of examples how we do bad deeds and we have to seek, you know, forgiveness. As I said, forgiveness is just only, it's, it's not just only by words, seeking forgiveness from, from God and confessing to Him what we have done, but also by actions we know what we did we try to fix it as much as we could and when we do this sincerely and everything the other side will be uh, forgiving too and this is how we can make this world more and more loving and more and more compassionate with each other instead of this situation that the, the strong eats the weak and the, the the bandits are the bandits now are looking smart and intelligent because they are abusing others and because they can so all these arrogance and the egocentric uh, actions that we are seeing in our world today in almost all fields must cease 
as I said, when we are thankful, we should be thankful not only by words, but also by actions. When we seek forgiveness also, we have to seek it by words and also by actions. So we apologize and we try to comp uh, compensate the other side in a way or another, depending on, on what side we did the harm to that other side. Uh, and as I see, I, uh, I've seen many occasions, at many occasions, many people think that you could, you could abuse anyone and you just, you know, give a money as a compensation and this is completely wrong. And not only wrong, it was also insulting to some other side people. So you have to be also careful for the feelings of others and to understand where they come from. So uh, this is what I want to say today uh, for seeking forgiveness and being thankful to God. They must not be only by words, but also by actions to be really complete, to be really fruitful, to be, uh, to allow us to have a, a good future, not to be haunted by the bad deeds we've done yesterday. So that's it from tomorrow. Very simple, but very important and very to the point. I wish every person is doing this worldwide. We wouldn't have been living in this monstrous world, uh, like uh, living like in, in a jungle, really. So this is it. Uh, have a nice day. Peace to you.